Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Give him praise. Give him honor. My God, my God, there is so much going on. There is so much going on. Hold on, I'm trying to fix this so I can put this phone down so I can really be comfortable and talking and everything. Praise God, praise God. Alrighty, so... I know I, uh, I just, I wear this, this shirt every week on purpose, y'all. Fast, pray, and obey. Every week on purpose. <laughs> I guess people say, boy, she got no clothes. Every week on purpose because I want to remind myself and others, this is where we at. Fast, pray, and obey. Say what you want to say. All right, so. God has called, for first of all, good morning, everyone. I love you with the love of Christ. God bless you. God keep you. I pray that you're having a blessed morning. And if not, make it a blessed morning. You know what to do. Fast, pray, and obey. So, um, it's kind of a sense of urgency this morning and also seriousness. God has never, ever asked me to call an Esther fast, ever. So I know right now is so much going on and I'm going to bring it back to something and I have to go here. Okay. So we're starting to Esther fast next week. It's on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. All right. It's going to be for three days for three weeks, nothing to eat, nothing to drink. However, for those that have never fasted before, even for those that have, because things are just so crazy, meaning that I don't know if you're working or whatever the case may be under the doctor, please keep you a bottle of water and some fruit. Because we don't want anyone to say, oh, I fell out. No, no, no. The instructions are the instructions. Now, for those that can do what you do, you know, I, I know me. Uh, I'm going to do what I have to do. Um and I'm going to be praying for those days as well. You guys, something has shifted. Something is getting ready to go down, whether we like it or not. When God called an Esther fast, so we look at the scriptures, right? Let me go to scripture right now. Hold on. I got this other phone. Hold on. Because I, I, want, I want you to see what's really happening here, what God is saying. I, I know I, it's not just, you know, I don't just do anything. So when God says something for real, it, it, it's for real. Okay. All right, hold on, you guys. Give me a minute. Okay, so Esther 416, King James Virgin says, Go gather together all the Jews. In this instant, all the all the believers, all the people are present in Sushan, and fast ye for me, and neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also and my maidens will fast likewise, and so will I go to the king, which is not according to the law, and if I perish, I perish. What God is saying in this hour, there's a spirit of Haman. What is a spirit of Haman? And this is the word of God. Let me tell you what the spirit of Haman is. The, the spirit of Haman is persecution. I don't want to get in that video that I'm going to do today later. I'm going to do a video concerning everything that's going on with the church girl okay so i don't want to get in that but that this is part of it oh uh, y'all acting like y'all don't understand what's happening here so i'm gonna break it down not like everybody else and that's why i wait because i want to hear god god how do you say to do it? the way i break that thing down you might want to pay attention because it's going to be real i will say this the kingdom of darkness supposed to do what they do Come on, somebody stop playing now. Y'all stop playing. The kingdom of God is supposed to do what it does. Hello. There it is. Light, dark. What part? So in this hour, God, and I see it even in my life. Lord have mercy. I'm telling you, the power of God is so heavy up on me, you guys, because I've been fasting. I've been fasting and I can't stop. It's not trying to I like I'm all that. I see what the times are. It's perilous. People killing each other. Y'all, y'all heard about the, the, the guy and I saw the video, you know, the guy that killed, he killed this, um, his children and he killed, he killed his children on live and he killed himself. So as I looked at the video, I saw the spirit of hurt. I saw the spirit of anger and it's emotional mixed with rage. 
I don't want to get into my videos. I got to do two videos today. But the other video I'm going to do today is they keep trying to diagnose demons. Somebody might get in the comments because I'm on one. How you going to diagnose a demon? <laughs> Y'all better stop playing. Lord, people better stop playing. How are you going to diagnose a demon? Therapists, doctors, and who? Lord have mercy, they don't understand. So where we at now, demons have been leashed. But let me tell you when they got leashed even more so. There have been portals, up and down, up and down. There have been opening portals. The more evil the world gets, the more they're invited in, okay? But do anybody remember when Travis Scott did what he did with all those people dying in Texas? I tried to tell y'all then, and maybe y'all might understand something now. If you go back then, you would understand what's happening now. It was more portals open. It was like a world portal because he did it publicly. And so, and because he wasn't rebuked publicly by a high official, you see, I, I, I'm, I'm nobody to them. Y'all know that, right? But to God, I'm somebody. Don't get it twisted. So, anywho, when he unleashed all that stuff, it seemed like there was another level of evil re re released in the atmosphere. So that's why y'all seeing, I'm talking about, I have never seen the evil which I am seeing. I never thought I would live to see it. Okay, so here we go with the fasting. You can't beat that kind of evil without fasting. Let me tell you what, I got to go to scripture, y'all. Hold on. I got to go to scripture. I got to go to scripture. Hold on. Okay, here it is right here. Matthew 17, 24. How be it this kind go out but by praying and fasting? Somebody write that in the comments for me. Matthew 17, 21. How be it this kind go it not out but by praying and fasting? That's where we at. That's where we at. And so I truly believe what God is getting ready to do is God is trying to get us in a prayer and fasting mode. We talking too much. You could talk all day long. Them demons going to do what they do. However, and, and hold on. Let me explain when I say that. When a person kills, steals, and destroys, that is a demonic entity. That's what that is. That's, that's actually telling them to do what they're doing. Again, people want to label it as mental illness, this and that. I haven't found that in the Bible. If you find it in the Bible, can you send it to me, please? Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. So what Jesus did, he cast out those evil spirits and he called them. When he was casting out that guy's spirit, them spirits from that guy, he said, what is your name? He said, Legion, for we are many. In this hour, we have to fast and pray like never before. I'm telling you what God's saying. Be quiet. Listen to the spirit of God. Walk in wisdom and discernment. Pray the prayer of protection over your family every day. I'm going to say it again. Every day. Sitting up there playing. I see what they did. Let me tell you what the enemy did. The enemy brought social media. And I'm not saying social media is a bad thing. But y'all know what's going on. Now everybody want to be a star. So now everybody's so busy making money. Y'all got to see the big, the big setup, making money, being a star, going viral, doing all this stuff. Ain't nobody praying on the back end in the, in the church like we used to. Ain't nobody fasting on the back end. Ain't nobody having delivery service on the back end because everybody want to be a star. Oh, you know, I'm going to tell it like a T.I. is. Don't care who don't like it. Everybody want to be a star. Yet people are not getting healed and delivered. And God has a problem with that. I'm going to say it again. God has a problem with that. I'm going to tell you, I heard a teaching this morning. And I got to put it this thick because I'm trying to tell y'all something. You remember in Noah's days when they wiped out the whole earth? Was that not God did that? Only eight souls were saved? I'm trying I'm trying to get, get to a point here. This is pretty much where we at again. Sodom and Gomorrah. Everybody's doing all kind of stuff. And because God have an answer. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. People just, oh, okay. There's no God. That's what they thought, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Until God told Noah, get two animals of each. 
because I've had enough. What am I saying? God is about to have enough. I'm telling you, hallelujah. You say what you want to say, do what you want to do. He's still God. But the illusion, the greatest illusion the devil did was make people think he wasn't real. That is the greatest delusion and illusion he's ever... David Copperfield don't have nothing on him. And so now, people don't believe in God. Yeah. They don't, they don't want no parts of God. Knowing that that's the only one can save you. The only true and living God. You cannot be saved by money, honey, funny, this. And that's why people are dying without God. So now, if people are dying without God, who is God really holding accountable, everybody? The church, they, they don't want, they don't want to hear that. But we too busy arguing and bickering over little stuff over here while people, spirit, their soul is going places they shouldn't go to hell. Let's just call it what it is. So when God told me to, uh, I'm somewhere with somebody at an appointment, that's why I'm looking around. Because all of a sudden there was a lot of movement. And that's another thing. Watch I don't care where you, I don't know why I'm diverting, but I'm going to divert a little bit. When you out and about, pray, pray around the area and watch. I didn't say be scary. I didn't say be paranoid, but pray because it's hot out here. Come on, some. When I say it's hot out here, I mean, this is their hour. I keep saying this for a reason. God has allowed the devil to kill, steal, and destroy. And let me just be real because we have sinned against God. All of us, you heard me, the whole wide world, we've sinned against God. We've made money our God, honey our God, funny our God. Let me break that thing down. Men marrying men, women marrying women. Now, we don't hate the people. We're supposed to love people back to life. But God hates to sin. Oh, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. You can get mad if you want. I'm not trying to bash nobody. I'm trying to tell y'all where we at. It's worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. And God is like, okay, you don't know what I did in the beginning of this world. I'm going to do at the end of this world. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what God said. Again, we love people back to life. We don't bash people because all of us have sin, whether it's small, big, or whatever. We all have sin. So ain't nobody bashing. Let, let's clarify that. However, the enemy made it so hard to preach and teach Oh, you're judging. You're do you know what? The devil is a lie. I'm going to say it again. The devil is a lie. They don't want Bible no more. As a matter of fact, somebody emailed me. CNN. They had something on CNN. I got to find it. They say something about um. they're trying to remove the Bible. I already told y'all. I already told y'all that's coming. The, the, um, the prophecy I see, they're going to take all the Bibles. And it's going to be like a great burn. They're going to call it the great burning. And they're going to burn them. Because they think if they burn the word of God, that they can remove God. That's the spirit of the Antichrist thinking that. And that's not true. That couldn't. I mean, look at Jesus Christ. They killed him over 2,000 years ago. And they still hate him. And they hate us for loving him. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just telling the truth up in here. So, God has called this fast, and God said, after those three weeks of fasting, on that Tuesday, that Wednesday, and Thursday, every week, as a matter of fact, hold on. Okay, so, let me read the whole flyer. Esther fast called of, called of by the Lord from Prophet to the Nations, Deanna Dixon. The Lord has called a global fast. Those that have an ear to hear, hear what does said the Lord thy God. This is what God has said. That's why I had him write everything. These are parallel times. There is too much murmuring. God said people complaining too much. Can you just be happy you alive? Can you just be happy you got something to eat? Some people don't have anything. Some people are suffering, complaining. Would you just stop? Just think. Just be thankful. Talking about each other. That one right there. We all fall short of the glory of God. God hates all sin, lying, gossiping, killing each other, rage, that spirit of rage, jealousy, for no reason at all. I think the one that got me this week <laughs> was when they had already killed her, her son, and she, this mother, she's visiting 
his grave and they kill it at his grave. Do you know how much hate you have to have in your heart and rage? The mother is, he already died. You can't tell me that's not demonic. You say what you want to say. You're going to kill the mother? She don't even know what happened between y'all. But she posted, and that's what I want to tell y'all too. And I stopped doing that as well. Stop posting where you're at. I'm just saying. People, it's called mind-binding spirits. I'm going to start teaching again from that Joyce Myers book, The Battlefield of the Mind. That's where we at. It's, and she called it out years ago, and she was right. It's called mind-binding spirits. They literally take their hand, and they do this, and they turn around, and they turn around. Confusion. And, and, and they try to provoke you to do things. That, that's how it really happens, in the spirit and in the natural. And that's why God said, renew your mind with the word of God. That's why I tell people, read your Bible. Listening to motivational speakers is good. Listening to preachers is good. But if you're not in your word, no word in, no word out. The word is what keeps that stuff down. The word is what keeps you strong. The word is what heals your heart. The word, the word. You know what's wrong? People think I know word in them today. They got everything and, and that's good. Because this, this is what, let me tell you something. This is the good part. Because he's getting exposed. The enemy got all this stuff out here. I, you can't even. Yeah, you can't even. Kind of like scroll. And hit videos. Like I, 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 three videos yesterday. I had to turn them off because they started cursing. It's all out here. Then I was listening to somebody. Because they just dropped a song. And I'm thinking, okay. Oh, I'm going to say it. Escape. That's why I put. I had, I had God forgive my forgive me, Lord. Explicit lyrics. I think you should say that, right? Oh my God! I was like, God have mercy. What's happening? What's happening? He said, Deanna, you know what's happening. The world is getting polluted, and my word is getting diluted. I'm coming somewhere. I'm coming somewhere. Y'all know during the tribulation, only a hundred and forty-four thousand will be saved. Y'all know, know, know how many people we have on this earth? Y'all better listen to me this morning. This is the great falling away. People don't want God anymore. They love this world. And the world is a stage. So they're making it so good. Like every, I, I'm looking at preachers fall. There was a one preacher. I used to love listening to him. Oh, I'm telling it all this morning. Don't play with me. I used to love listening to him. What I saw about, I don't even know. It was recently. I was so disappointed. I am not even listening no more. Dude, you got a whole spirit of lust. Yeah, I, I'm saying it. I don't want that in my spirit. I'm not listening to you. Y'all better guard y'all ear. Let me tell y'all what I've been praying. I've been y'all y'all know I'm always uh, anointing my head, my stomach, and my feet. But lately I've been just a little bit. Father God, cover my eyes. Father God, keep my mouth. Let it be seasoned and let my speech be seasoned with salt. That's what I've been doing. That's what I mean. And I, I just started that like maybe two weeks ago. All of a sudden, I just I say, OK, it's, it's too much. It's too much. These are spirits. So I pray. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because it's not about the person. Because, you know, how people are they be thinking it's a good idea, but it's her idea. First of all, I can't do anything by God, but by God. I pray that you join this fast and hold on. Even if you fast till 12 o'clock or whatever times that God may tell you, because maybe you have a medical condition or maybe you have never fasted with no food, no water. Do it the way God say, but do something. Even if it's two hours. The reason why I'm saying it is because this is how we're going we're gonna to beat Satan. The fivefold ministry. We make a fist, then we can de deliver a mighty blow. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Protect the king. Protect the king. I'm about to preach a little bit. Protect the king. God gave me this. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to feed your soul for real this morning. So I was talking to a brother in Christ because he's going through so many challenges. I said, remember King David? I, I want to take y'all. Remember King David? When King David was hiding in the cave, it was the king hiding. 
Because here's what happened. His son Absalom was going after him. We're living in a season where a mother against father, daughter, every all kind of stuff is happening. However, let me tell you what happened. We forgot to protect the king. Oh, come on, somebody. The king of your house. You hear what I'm saying? Your family, the black man. We forgot to protect the king. Okay, let me break it down to you. So Absalom was trying to still kill the king. So he got all kind of army and stuff like that. And he's going after David. But I love David's sergeant in arms. His first sergeant, technically. This is what happened. So I'm, I'm going to do some metaphors, right? So David, he in the cave crying. So I'm the first sergeant. Okay. He's weak right now. But if we don't protect the king, the kingdom will fall. If we don't protect the king, we're going to die. Our children going to die. Our family's going to die. What am I saying? Even in Jesus, he, he, Jesus is the king. We're talking about the kingdom. Protect the kingdom, saints. Protect the kingdom. Hold up the, 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 the blood-stained banner. So let me get back to the story. So I'm sergeant at arms. So I'm talking to all of y'all, right? Let's protect the king. He's weak right now. Let's protect the king. Let's guard the king. How are we going to do it? Kill his enemy. Yeah, I know it's his son, but kill his enemy. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I'm not talking about physically. All right? Because I don't know nobody said she said kill somebody. I, I'm, but, but that was physical. We're talking about spirit right now. But that was physical. So they got a plan together and they caught Absalom and, and they chased him. And you got to understand. In order to save the kingdom, they had to kill his son. Ooh, David, that was hard. In order to save the kingdom, they had to kill his son. So they, 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 they cornered him. And the Bible, the Bible says that he had long hair. So they made him go through trees. And the way they set them trees up, they knew his hair would get locked in those trees. Come on, somebody. It's a setup. It's a setup. It's a setup on both sides from the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of God supposed to move in wisdom and discernment. God says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. What that means? You need to know that you know that you know that you know. Hallelujah. So anyway, so he was caught up in the trees and the Bible says that he, he they stuck him and they killed him. Then they went back to King David. Your enemy is dead. They didn't say your son. They said your enemy is dead. And King David crying. And so Sergeant in Arms say, hold on, King. Hold on, hold on. You got your kingdom back. What you need to do is gird your lions and act like a man of God first. <laughs> I just said something. Because you're the king. And we need you in this hour. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Who am I talking to? Gird up your lines like a man, a woman of God, like a king, like a queen in the name of Jesus. Because we need you in this hour. This is not the time to be weak. This is not the time to cry. And I'm sorry about Absalom. However, you got a whole army that's with you. Hallelujah. Now get up, king. The Bible says that King David rose never to fall again. His kingdom never to fall again. As a matter of fact, Solomon inherited the throne. Okay, prophet, that's why you said all that. The kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent taken by force. Why do you think people are mocking the kingdom of God right now? Because people have not stood up. And the ones that have stood up, y'all bash them. And, but don't you understand this is a war. This is a spiritual war. Kingdom against kingdom. Whose side you on? Like I said the other day, whose side are you on? Because I'm going to be real with you. I've, I've been seeing a lot of preachers say this and say that. Oh, you, you want to oh, oh, be part of the world. <laughs> It's not that video. That's why I'm holding back, y'all. That's what y'all see. I'm holding back because I'm going to do that video. I got to do that video the way God say. I got to do a couple of videos. Let me tell y'all something right now. God is watching us all. Choose wisely what you say, preacher, teacher, gospel artist. Yeah, I see it like that. Y'all not ain't scared of y'all. Y'all know that, right? Hallelujah. The truth is the truth is the truth all day long. And Bible is truth. And God say, those that are not with me is against me. The word of God is the word of God. You haven't read your Bibles. Because if you read your Bible, even John the Baptist told Herod and Herodus, it is not lawful for you to marry your brother's wife. Why do you think they killed him? Because of the truth. We're coming back in the same days. People don't want truth. So the, the one of the fold will go against the fold instead of go against the kingdom of darkness. My God, my God. You see when people start getting hit, and they will, for opening their mouth and saying stuff that God didn't tell them to say, 
If you're not authorized, you better be quiet in this hour. I'm going to say it again. Somebody put that in, in the comments. If you are not authorized by God, you better be quiet for God hit you and split you. I'm telling you what's happening in this hour. If you're not authorized to speak on anything, do not do it. Because who oh, I'm about to go here. Because most of y'all are doing it for cloud anyway. You heard me. Want to be relevant again. Yeah, I said it like I said it. Want to go viral. Did I say it like that? Viral. Say it one more time, prophet. It's viral. <laughs> Ain't got no anointing. You heard me. No anointing. Because the anointing would make you refrain from saying anything that God didn't tell you to say. And that's anybody. Me, you, and that famous dog named Boo. So, with that being said, I pray to God that you understand the time and the seasons that we are in. This is praying time. This is fasting praying and obeying time like never before God said. And I do mean like never before. People are dying without God. You know, I have to be honest with you. And I didn't see it. I didn't see it till recently. I'm so glad God stopped so much in my life. Y'all saw, y'all saw where I was trying to go, what I was trying to do. Let's be real. Y'all know I'm, I'm very transparent on purpose. I'm so glad he, he shut them doors because I see where I'm supposed to, before even my music, I'm supposed to be a prophetess. I'm supposed to tell you what does say the Lord. And I'll be honest with you. Even people don't like me know that part. And I, I see how important it is. You know, yeah, God give you a passion. I do have two ministries. My music is my ministry as well. But people need to hear what does say the Lord. And who's been with God? And what is God saying in this hour? For real, not for a dollar. Not for to go viral. Oh, yeah, I'm saying it. Y'all, y'all, boy, y'all. Oof. He, he holding my tongue. He holding my tongue. He holding my tongue. <laughs> you know, I want to say some more stuff. Just, oof. Jesus. Take the wheel, literally. <laughs> they better stop, though. They better stop. They better stop playing with God. Because, I, I mean, God brought back Genesis when he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Y'all don't know that? So you think he can't do anything today? Remember Pharaoh? Because we're in a Pharaoh system. He destroyed Pharaoh. I'm going to tell you this. God said they're going to stop playing with him. But that's for that other video I'm going to do. God said they're going to stop playing. I'm telling you what God said. And I will tell y'all this. Judgment has been rendered. You are about to see how just how God is going to answer people. You see, the first time you take God's word out of context, and yeah, I'm saying it like I'm saying it, and you say things you shouldn't say, and you're saying things you shouldn't say, and you do things you shouldn't do, God will give you a pass. God will say, you know what? Maybe they're ignorant. But when you do it two and three times, oh, you begging for it. <laughs> the Bible says it is a fearful thing to fall in the hand of the living God. Oh, you bad. Oh, you, you really bad. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> my God, my God, this is not funny. It's really not funny. Because then when stuff happens, you're going to see people crying. Don't cry now. You should have cried when you were doing what you were doing. And that's real talk. And that's in, that goes for me, you, anybody. Oh, my God. Okay, you guys. That's it. That's it. That's it. So I pray, you guys. And, and each day of the fast, I'm going to do a prayer call. I may do it through here because the phone situation, like I used to like to do it, but they would be playing with the phones. It just, y'all know. But I will tell you this. I pray that we really get it together as a people of God. The the hate then came into the church. The rage then came into the church. The emotions then came into the church. God says, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. If you don't truly have God's spirit, you don't know the truth. You're moving out of emotions. You're moving out of this. You're moving out of that. And then if you're not authorized 
to speak when God didn't tell you? Now you're going to get backlash twice. <laughs> Jesus, help us. All right, you guys. So I pray. Tasha, that's real. She said, we are fools sometimes. Girl, that's one of the realest statements I've read thus far. That is so true because sometimes we think we know. Like, we've all been fools, right? But the thing is to get wise after you a fool, right? It's like, okay, I did this, I said this, I shouldn't have. And then go sit somewhere, let God renew you, restore you, correct you, inspect you, check you, and then realize, okay, God, if you're truly my God, then I have to run everything past you, even my lifestyle. God, should I go here? God, should I do this? We have become wise in our own eyes, and that's what's happening. But I'm going to be real with you, for real. The church has become worldly. That's what's really going on. And everybody wants attention. The spirit of attention. I, I, I preached on that, I don't know how many times. Everybody wants the spirit of attention. Look at me, look at me. That's why they're doing stuff on live. Killing on live. Dogging people out on live. Just, just... Can't tell me God told you to do that. I'm sorry. God did not tell you to do that. Mm -mm. And let's go scripture. I'm about, to, I'm about to debunk it with scripture. If you have something to get your brother or sister, take the elders and go to him or her. Not Facebook to go viral. So somebody lied just right there. Mm -hmm. You were supposed to call that man of God and go with some elders. <laughs> We're going to learn, though. Tell me what God said. We're going to learn. We're going to learn. All right, you guys. God bless you. God keep you. I will be back. Um, I got to do that video. And, and I'll go ahead and I think y'all already know. Um, So everybody's been talking about it. And y'all notice I do everything last. I do it on purpose because I want to do it the way God do i've been a fool <laughs> tasha so that's why i was like that's one of the realest statements we've all done things out of order before never again not on my watch not myself and with that being said i wanted to wait because honestly my take on the church girl thing everybody everybody got something to say i'm coming the way god wants me to say it and i will say when i break it down to y'all y'all gonna understand because i'm breaking it down by spirits we're not we're not bashing nobody. But at the same token, wrong is wrong. And it behooves me that we have church folk saying it's okay. Good luck with that one. Explaining that one to God when you die. Because you're going to definitely have to explain that one. I'm just saying. It would have just been best to just be quiet. I'm just saying. I just I wouldn't have agreed. I, I, I'm sorry. I just probably would have been like, okay, I'm going to pray and see what God say. Because <laughs> that's what I do. And that's why I'm not saying too much now. But I'm going to come back on because uh, I'm going I'm to show you in the spirit what's going on. Because people have always done what they do, y'all. Come on now. Come on. I, I said it when I came on here. I will give y'all a clue. We're all ministers. What type? We're all worship leaders. What type? Whatever your music or your ministry or your communication reveal in the spirit, that's who you are. So what am I going to say? There's ministers of darkness and there's ministers of light. That's the battle. It's not people. That's the battle. Come on, somebody in my line. That's the battle. They're supposed to do what they're doing. And yes, we're supposed to say something. But in the way that God tells us to say it. But who are we to say that God didn't tell that person to say what they say? Rebuke this. You don't know that conversation between them and God. Now everybody got something to say. Hmm. Be careful, God says. Be careful. I had to learn that one the hard way. Be careful. I'm telling you. All right, you guys. God bless you. God keep you. I love you guys. Uh-oh. He's out. I got to go. All right. Roll our soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.